nominated actress, and he was a producer of such legendary films like Risky Business and Black Swan. Now they have joined forces to create a new YouTube channel focused on quality rules for women called Wigs. Please welcome Virginia Manson and John Abnett to What's Trending. <laughs> you like that, John, right? He's like, Interesting, interesting. Okay. This huge live audience, it's amazing. I know, it's incredible, it blows you away. Know what I love that we look out at the Capitol building and the Roosevelt Hotel, that's so cool, it's so Hollywood. Oh, well we appreciate it. And you actually said you're into memes, which I was surprised about. I was so glad you were, because I was like, there's another girl that likes memes, yay. And your favorite one? Uh, sexy Hipster Tiger. I love that one. I love it, it's, it's, go check it right? out. Sexy Somebody knows Hipster it. Tiger. <laughs> I have not heard about that until today. Are you into me? There's so <laughs> many memes, though. <laughs> well, let's talk a little about Wigs, what has brought us all here together as one. Good. Awesome channel. New channel on YouTube, part of the premium channels. Uh, how did this all come together? Why was it important to launch a, a female-centric channel on YouTube? Well, it started when uh, Rodrigo Garcia and I, who had worked together on a film, uh, had lunch a couple years back, and we... Uh, we paid dearly for this lunch because we thought, well, maybe we could <laughs> hire some of our friends, you know, because we've worked with a lot of actors and actresses and directors and writers uh, to do short films for the web. And this was about two and a half, three years ago. And uh, what we wanted to do was something that was, uh, for lack of a better word, high quality. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were also interested in doing some content for women because a number of the things that he's done and I've done separately and together, like Fried Green Tomatoes or many years ago, The Burning Bed, you know, our starter wife, the miniseries, you know, are female-centric, if you will. And what we were also interested in is seeing with great actresses, could we create characters that are complex and not explain them in a single word? And, and uh, we felt we could be respectful in a way to the complexities of women. So Don't this- you love that? How awesome is John? Yeah, you know, oh, very sensitive. Knock I this silly stuff off, right? I do justify it. He's real, he's actually, no, you actually speak. You have thoughts yeah, and you can like verbalize a, them. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, in our show, the men are the eye candy. So, <laughs> sadly, Trust this is me. what it comes to, you know? Uh, but, but anyway, it, it, it morphed when uh, YouTube uh, was interested in creating channels and, uh, and Kinsel and Alex and Jamie, we met with them and they really sparked to the idea. So what started out as a rather modest thing, which was taking our unemployed, very employable friends, meaning they're unemployed 15 days a year, having worked for little or no money on something that hopefully was worthwhile, mushroomed into this channel. And it was quite ambitious. It was uh, six months of uh, production. Really? That was pretty much nonstop. It was, it, was, it was very demanding, but it was also very exciting because uh, we did get our friends and we made new friends. And, and one of the nicest things was when the actors had a good experience, they would tell their friends. And the whole thing started mushrooming. And uh, it was also great because we were able to get female directors and female writers. And, and for years, as m many people in Hollywood know, this has been an all boys club. Well, we, have, we actually have a clip. So we'll give some context. You have a clip of the boys' club? No, not the boys' club. All right, not girls, pay attention. Club, but of the show. So here it goes. Now, what does the future hold for Jan? What does Jan want? Sugar? Milk? Well, I guess I want to do what you do. Flattery. I love your work. I hope to have the opportunity to be brave the way you've been. Brave. You know, there's scars all over my body. That's how you get to where the hell I am. You bleed. Profusely and often. Do you have a lot of blood to give, Jan? That's a first. Really? Asking me for my blood? How vampiric. Be brave, Jan. Give often. Give freely. Give red. So, Virginia, why was it important for you to be part of a project like this? And that was one of your favorite moments. Well, you, you know, I, as soon as I heard about it, it's like you almost didn't have to finish the sentence. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, yes, I want to be on this because I, I believe that this is clearly where our industry is going. And I think that we're on the ground floor of what is going to become the the centerpiece of the entertainment industry. And 
the fact that we could make something, as John was saying, that's high quality, and we didn't shoot this as little like webisodes, you know, we're all, the internet is beyond that now. We shot every series as a movie. We shot this as an entire film. They edited it down into these segments later. So we never had a sense that we were making little five minute stories. We made a movie, essentially. And, and, I, and I'd wanted to work with John for years and years and years. Can I tell them? Yes. Say, I, reveal. I auditioned for Risky Business like all those years ago when I was no like 17 way. years old. And it was, you know, and so Good. it's Good. been Good. since then that I went to work with John. And, and this gave us an opportunity to work in a really free, creative environment um, with his beautiful writing. And, you know, I have to say, it's hard to find really great material. Mm -hmm. um, I know that's a common thing that women say, but it's very true. And this was an opportunity to work with Caitlin Gerard, who's a brand new actress. And that's always exciting for me because mm -hmm. I like to mentor and um, I like to be around that energy of somebody who's young and up and coming and because they're so inventive and brave and creative. And, and what I liked is that as m this was a friendship. Like it would be easy if I was you know, the, the mean, you know, professional, and this was my intern, mm -hmm. and, and I do torture her a little bit, but there's just, something just about her, yeah, just, just for sport. Stay in shape. Give her some character, but my character takes a liking to her and an interest in her. Well, there's different sides of the characters, and you're not yeah. just, there's you, your storyline. And we line. become friends, Yeah, and I, that intrigued me a lot. What I, I like think is that. interesting is you go on the YouTube channel and there's different storylines. Right. So, I mean, I, how are you taking advantage of the platform for the storytelling process. Well, that's actually been kind of exciting because it's allowed us a certain amount of freedom and for better or worse, it's a singular vision. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not always true on movies and sometimes on network and studios. If you have a very strong vision, uh, it can lead to great stuff or awful stuff, but it won't lead to something in the middle. And so this was something where I wanted to explore in a way this relationship and, and certain characters. The Stephen Moyer character I thought would be very interesting the ex-boyfriend who was really troubled and who I know how women are going to look at him and go, oh, get away from him. And then they're going to go, well, maybe not. Yeah, he's maybe too we sexy. should. Yeah, you know. Too sexy, too sexy. And but Kyle but Gellner, who play, yeah. plays yeah. that role, yeah, was in The Haunting in Connecticut with me. Uh, like okay. a, a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, Kyle. You know, it was just excellent. Well, I, mean, and, I need and, to have scenes with him, though. Well, you're now seeing a negotiation. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, I like how at the moment. end of each episode you do ask a question. Like you are, I feel like this is different for you to be, you know, the annotations and the pop-ups and go to next video, go to behind the scenes, yeah. all that different stuff. Yeah, I'm not wild about anything that gets in the way of the image. I mean, it, it, you know, obviously mm. we, we know what form we're in. And, uh, but we spent so much time and effort trying to compete on a quality level with cable and network. You know, we think what we shot is quite good. And so we want to show it in as pristine an environment as possible. And, uh, you know, it, it will stream at 1080p quite nicely, you know, depending on how, you know, how, how big your pipe is, how good the broadband is. But that's important. Yeah. You know, it's important to us to tell stories that we think are relatable, that are edgy, that are shocking, that don't define people in ways that are so predetermined and predigested. Uh, you know, that will hopefully cause people to think and to, you know, maybe develop a habit, you know, of saying, hey, what's next on Wix? Yeah. You know, uh, right now, uh, Jennifer Garner and, uh, and Alfred Molina's piece aired yesterday. We have Julia Stiles and Jean Triplehorn coming on June 11th. You know, we have actresses and actors of Virginia stature, as well as some new ones. And, you know, we're very excited to see what happens. You know, can we, can we you know, uh, attain, you know, attach an audience and, and create some uh, viewing habits? And it remains to be seen. I mean, it's, initially it's very exciting. The comments are very positive, but it's yeah, very early. Yeah, they're really positive. Can YouTube people... combat sexism in Hollywood? No. No, but, but what they can do is <laughs> no, maybe make fun can, of it. We can make fun of it, and <laughs> we can play with it, and we can use it to our advantage. But, but <laughs> yeah. half of the directors who are working in the first you know, 100 episodes that we did are female. Mm -hmm. So it's that simple. You find any network show, any cable show, any studio in Hollywood who has that ratio, genuflect, bow down, prostrate yourself. It doesn't exist, okay? And mm -hmm. we did this intentionally. You know, and some of them are well known, like Leslie Lincoln Gladder, Betty Thomas. Some are younger, upcoming, like Amy Mann. Some are writer directors, like Amy Lippman. I mean, it's a pretty interesting group. Rose Troche. I mean, we've got some interesting women out there, and you're going to see their voices. And so in, instead of complaining about what isn't, 
we tried to create a world of what is and what and is. And what is an wigs. incredible environment then yeah. that became, because everyone was like, oh, you know, like I'm shooting here, Rosanna Arquette is shooting across the way, and all of a sudden I'm shooting one day, and Julia Stiles walks in, and we, you know, we we got to meet That's and work really with people that we all really admire. And we're in these two sound stages, and it was. And you're live tweeting so, it all. I yeah, feel like I'm I was. So I was you tweeting tweet so lot. much, yeah. Virginia. I do. I'm a little bit of a blabbermouth on Twitter, I have to say. But, we but like I, that. I see a, a great value in it. I don't like. Sometimes I just use it. It's it's just funny. But I think as as we see, it's it's also going to have. We already know it has great political value. As we get closer and closer to the election, it's going to be really exciting. Mm -hmm. And and I like it because I mean I kind of feel like. You know, Facebook's a wall and Twitter is a conversation. Love it. Well, so. on that note, Ooh, isn't that thanks nice for being thing? here and being part of this conversation. I really appreciate it. You can watch the first six episodes of Wigs and many more to come at youtube.com slash wigs. Go do it. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks and for having us. We will be right back after thanks. this.